So here we have The Darkstone Halls by j Powell, who is also a newcomer. He did some cool little preview videos. Definitely starting us off right with the nail gun and the super shotgun. Oh wow. And the grenade launcher. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like with these weapons, as far as I'm concerned, I don't need anything else. Anything else is just bonus. As long as I have plenty of ammo for these, I'm good. Got him. The bars have been lowered. I feel like this space here is perfect for fiends. So this is J-Pal's first map. The stairs here could have used a little bit of clipping just so that it can go up and smoothly. But I appreciate that he went to like a little bit of effort to make them like damaged looking. First released. He's been mapping on and off for a while. Oh, that's good to know. Look at these guys. What a bunch of losers. What are you going to do? What well, would have been cool was a monster jump right there. So that, that when the player is standing on this platform, he's not so comfortable. Check this out. Oh, that's an awesome secret. I guess he clipped it so I can't exit the map. But yeah. Hey, Shades. People should be mapping for Slayer's Testaments. Yeah, um, I'm not opposed to making a map for it. If you guys have like a FGD file, I wouldn't mind making a map for it. It would be like my, I guess the closest approximation to a Doom map I've made. I think I broke the secret. Huh, go figure. I guess it didn't trigger. Hey, yeah. I'm down with Marky's uh, suggestion. A Slayer's Testament jam would be pretty cool. And it would definitely uh, get more people looking at Slayer's Testaments. Oh yeah. Give me some more.
Oh, that was awesome quad run. That was awesome. You guys got 5k on your Discord? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so there was a silver door at the beginning. I remember seeing. He did good to repopulate this area. So there's no confusion as to where I need to be going. Wow, didn't expect that to happen. Damn, I like this level though. Nice archi architecture. Gotta watch the level prior as I joined late. Yeah, this one is uh, J-PAL, a map by J-PAL. According to Greenwood, he's been mapping on and off for a little while, but this is his first official release. And uh, so far, I really like it. Uh, I feel like the combat is quite good. And the way that the player is gently guided throughout the map, I think, is pretty good. Also, the size of the map, space-wise, I think is just right. That was crazy. That fiend that landed on me previously, he did a hundred damage and two hundred of my arm with two hundred armor. So that means he did like what, like three hundred damage or four hundred? It's a glitch, but it's a lot of fun. Like you can just get insta gives by a fiend. Super fiend. <laughs> By the way, the skybox he picked for this is perfect. It gives nice contrast with the the blue green floor and the gray. It's mostly green. This is pretty cool too. I really wish I had the setup to stream on Twitch, but I don't know. No one wants to watch me do worse job playing maps than RC. <laughs> well, look at you guys now. You're watching me. What's one more? I say you should do it because it's always good to see how different people play maps. And you know, like... There was actually a discussion about this the other day on the Discord. Uh, like, Jag Taggart, I think he's still in here, but I don't think he's a mapper. So his opinion is 
valuable because he's not looking at it from a mapper's perspective. He's looking at it from like just someone who enjoys the game's perspective. You know? Likewise, RC was the same way. RC was coming at it from the perspective of like just a guy who likes Quake. So we need more non-mappers to stream their playthroughs. Because let's face it, people aren't posting demos. People aren't play posting demos like they used to. Elder Verkun likes to watch pretty lights and rockets. Yeah, I agree. The mapper... Marky Music says the mapper to player ratio is weird compared to other communities. Yeah, like the Doom community. How many, like, trillions of Doom players are there compared to uh, Doom mappers? The thing is, the Quake community is basically just people who like mapping. And some people who like Quake. Alright. I'm getting a little distracted here. I need to find that gold key. It said the gold key is at hand. The main gate is opened elsewhere. Find the gold key first. Quake is Kino. I agree. Quake is like the the art house of first-person shooters. The avant-garde of first-person shooters. Oh, shit. I like this room a lot. Check this out. You come in from up here, and then, like, you're surrounded by lava. I just don't know if I needed that shambler in my face, but that's all right. That was cool. Jack Taggart's views are interesting because he's really into the immersion narrative factor. Yeah. But, you know, like I was saying, he's just the guy who plays the game. He's not worried about making maps for it. So that alone gives you a different perspective already. Like, I remember when I first, after I made my first map, and then I started playing Quake again. It was like a totally different like viewpoint. Like I could not look at it the same way again. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I cannot look at FPS levels, not as a level designer anymore, says Marky. Yeah, totally, man. It made my Doom Eternal playthrough interesting. <laughs> you and I both, man. Yeah, the reality is there's no turning back. Once you understand the principles of level design, at least at some level, it's really difficult to... It's really difficult to just play the game again. Like when you know what it takes to make an arch like this. You know, stuff like that. Check this out. A secret just for us. Oh man, really you gotta go around? What it takes to make a good quad run. Oh, ouch.
You have conquered the Darkstone Halls. You are free to leave. Cool. Let me catch up with you guys. This is what it's like for me to listen to music as well, by the way. Oh, dude. Marky. That's like double. Because it's like, now you can't just listen to music for music's sake. That's pretty cool, too, though. Um, Sideshow Kaz. I'm so used to watching Mapper streaming now after watching Reek play Doom Eternal. Uh-huh. I was so used to knowing these principles, I didn't know there was any other way. <laughs> yeah. So, how about this for our first map? Nice intermission, too. I feel like the encounters were nicely laid out. The space was... It was spacious without being cramped, but not overly big. It was just right. Um... I feel like there was some little rough areas, like some of the encounters where it's like you awkwardly have to fight two fiends in like a staircase, but overall, not bad. And the secrets were well done too. So let's play his second map now and let's see what that's like. <laughs> 